In that midnight hour, when you feel like all hope is lost, you feel like, why am I even here? What am I doing here? What's my purpose? And the enemy keeps lying to you, telling you you're not worth it, telling you that you just, you don't matter. And people just pass you by like you're nothing. But you need to wake up, wake up, and arise. You matter to God. You are a champion. You are victorious. You are the one that God sees. You are the one that cries out, and He sees you. And every day is a new day. Every day is a new opportunity to engage with God, to spend time with the Lord. He created you. You have a purpose on this earth, a choice. As you are a child of the most high God, to all things the Christ that gives you strength, you are a champion, you are victorious. Go forth this day into spiritual victory. What is it, everybody? Welcome back to another new me episode. I pray you're having a blessed day so far. If you're not having a blessed day, this is going to bless you. And I want to talk to you about, I'm going to give you three keys. Three keys on how to tell people about Jesus. This is one I get a lot. People ask me this question a lot. You know, how do I do it? You know, how do you just tell somebody about Jesus? You know, I I told them at first. I mean, it, it, it was it was it was very. I, I was scared. I, I was nervous. I'm gonna be honest. You know, I'm being honest. I was nervous. I was nervous. And who isn't at first? You know, but when I see people getting touched by God, when I see the power of prayer, and when I see God fully coming in and just Holy Spirit on them, it, it, it's an amazing life-changing thing that I just don't want to stop you know I it, it, it's a it's a beautiful thing when you just say oh my gosh God tell this person about Jesus hey do, do you know Jesus Jesus loves you you know you're just you're just addicted you know you're just it, it and you know being addicted to Jesus you know what I'm saying that, that that's a good thing too you know being addicted just to soul winning just to tell me about Jesus you know and I'm gonna talk to you about that in a minute but first I want you to go to Psalm 71 it's a very powerful scripture. So we'll see this for you. We'll see this for your family to close this over your life. So it says, Who, wh Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the foul snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor there the flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the plague which at midday. A thousand may fall to sight, ten thousand to your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the pleasure of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, make the most high dwelling, your home will protect you. Nor does that come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. He will lift you up in their hands. You will, strike a foot against, you will not strike a foot against a stone. You will tear a lion, the cobra, you will tear a lion, the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he knowledge my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. Psalms 91. Praise God. So guys, I want to share this um, real quick. It's not going to be... That long, I don't think so. Let's just jump right into it. Um, okay, so three keys I have for you in this time about GS. Okay, so the first one identify your mission field. So you do not need, and I've said this before, I've always said this you do not need to be a pastor or missionary to share, um, to share Jesus. That's not what this is. It's basically going up, even if you're in school, or like I told you on, um, on um, my Monday video. How I just told um, my friend, and we were at work. We were at work and everything. And I just told him, you know, hey, let me tell you about, you know, uh, do you know Jesus? Jesus loves you, man. And, oh, you know, we were talking and everything, and he got saved and born again and I prayed for him. It's, it's, just, it's just simple as that, you know? It's very simple. People complicated. They think you gotta do all these things. They think you gotta have all these fancy words, but it's really not. You have Holy Spirit inside of you. When you got saved and born again, he lives inside of you now. That's been activated on the inside of you. It's, it's just like a light has went off inside of you. 
and that's the Holy Spirit. And now what is doing? He's leading you and guiding you. He's giving you words to say. So that's why I just tell people, you know, Father God, lead me and guide me. Just, just lead me to somebody who is desperate for you, who needs you this day. And so, so look around, so, so look around you. That's your mission. This whole world needs Jesus. You don't have to be a pastor. You don't have to be an, um, an, an, a missionary. You don't have to have this big, you don't have to be this big influencer, this big person. You don't need it. You just need your Bible and you. And God is already with you. So he's already had you. He already got you. You know what I'm saying? He's always following you. You just need your Bible and that's it. Just you and God. And you just go to that person about Jesus. That's all you need. That's really all you need. So your mission field might be closer than you think, okay? So bloom. So will you plant it? So reflect God's love to everyone around you. Connect with family members. And this is this is really a big one. God's love. I've said this many times to people. If they do not want to hear you tell about Jesus, that is fine. I know it might be hard to hear, but it's really fine. Because a lot of times people get hurt. They get hurt and they're just like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to do this no more. God, I mean, why, why would you send me this way? The enemy wants you to stop. The enemy, first of all, the enemy does not want you to talk about Jesus, period. They want you to stop. So we've sent people your way that do not want to hear about Jesus. And just write you off to say all these nasty things to you. But don't let that, don't react and don't let that affect you. That's happened with me so many times what i do is i tell i just say okay you know what i'm just gonna pray for you you know god loves you god bless you and i walk away why because i've planted that seed there's so many times people have threatened me and everything said these things i don't let that affect me i move on i walk away i tell them okay you know what jesus loves you god bless you i'll pray for you yeah yeah what and they'll say all these words everything all these curse words okay 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 you know god bless you okay and at the end, you know, when I go home, I just talk to God, I cry out to God. That's the main thing, you know what I'm saying? Do not have that arguing. Because if that person is arguing, and you're arguing, you're not showing the love of God. You're attacking back. Do not attack back. Okay? First of all, don't attack back. So, family members, it could be any single family member who has unsaved loved ones. A lot of you do, right? A lot of you do. I have unsaved loved ones. We want them in the kingdom of God, right? So, so very simple. Family members, friends, you have friends. Tell them about Jesus. Do not be ashamed. Do not be ashamed. Because if you're ashamed on this earth to do it, publicly confess the name of Jesus, then Jesus won't won't do that in front of his father. He'll be like, I don't even know. I don't even know you on that day. I don't even know. I don't even know this man. I don't even know this woman. I don't know you. I do not know you. He will not confess you before his father. Co-workers, very simple, co-workers, that's your job. Neighbors, be it, be um, intentional and about forming relationships. So very important, I always tell people, I do not have, I'm not religious. I am not religious at all. I have a true relationship with Jesus, which means I talk to him, he talks to me. I'm not religious. I don't just go, I don't just play church. I don't just go to church and that's it. No. I read my word. I let God speak to me. He gives me words to say. He leads me, guide me at my job every single day. I pray. He speaks to me then. He, he gives me downloads because I ask for it. And I let God minister to me in the night hours. That's the main thing. That's very important. Pray. Very important. Pray. So do not underestimate the power of prayer. Main thing. Don't underestimate the power of prayer. Ask God to prepare your hearts and open doors for conversations about Jesus. That's the most important thing is prayer. Prayer. I'm telling you. Very important prayer. So ask God to prepare your hearts and open doors for conversations about Jesus. So ask God, Father God, just lead me and guide me in the right direction. Very perfect example. I was sitting, I remember a while back, I told you guys this story, but I'm going to tell you again. Um, 
I remember when I went to the school before I graduated, I would sit at the bench, and God knows I didn't like lunch. I told him, straight out, you know I don't like lunch. You know I don't like lunch. Why, why am I doing You can, I said, are you going to obey me? Okay, yeah, I'll obey you. Yes, I will. So I was at the bench, and I was just sitting down. Um, and I said, Father God, just point me, point me, point, um, just highlight somebody. Just, just point me who you want me to, just point me out. I mean, just, uh, point that person out who you want me to talk about Jesus. A couple minutes passed, you know, I was talking to, I was just talking to him. I was just having a conversation with him. Just me, just me and him. I was sitting by myself, just me and him. And right there, he pointed, he pointed that person, that person out. And I was walking, I said, okay, Father God, just give me words to say, Father God, just, just, just be my, just, just speak through me, Father God, and just help me, Father God, just speak through me. And then God said to born again, simple as that, guys, it's very simple, okay? Okay, uh, number two, focus on the gospel, very important, do not go off topic, I've had to ask God to help me with that a lot, do not go off topic, stay on topic the gospel the gospel is transformative power so share john three sixteen. for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes him shall not perish but have eternal life live live a consistent christ-centered life be a good listener and a friend that's the main thing people want people want to be heard teenagers just want to be heard they want somebody to trust and talk to so when they tell me the story, I've had some people kind of just tell you, you know, my testimony. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Tell me your story. And they'll be, they'll be quiet and everything. They'll be, and I'll just, I'll just listen to them. Tell me your story. Talk to me. Tell me your story. I'm not going nowhere. Tell me, tell me what's going on. It's so many stories. So many stories, ladies and gentlemen. And it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart because I don't want to see them go through that. And I pray for them. And God sets them free. Amen. Okay, pray for opportunities to share your faith. So relying on the Holy Spirit's guidance, avoiding arrogance, remember that we're all sinners in need of a savior. Okay? So they need a savior. Who is that savior? Jesus Christ who died for them. Okay? So share your personal story. I share this. This is number three, the final one. This is uh, number three. Okay, so share your personal story. So, I always share this. My testimony. My testimony, 2016, a bunch of things happened. You know, my life truly went downhill. You know, I battled with suicide, tormenting suicide. I mean, it, it was a terrible thing. And I was going to end all of that. And when I tell people the story, they're just like, Oh my gosh, you battled with that. I'm like, yes. But you of them look like, I know. Because God saved me. God set me free. Wasn't for him though. I'd be totally gone. I'd be totally gone. 2016, I've been it. I've been it. I wouldn't be talking to you guys right now. I would have been gone. I would have been gone. But you have that. You have. You have only a limited amount of time to make an impact. Limited amount of time. I'll go out with God. You know, years late. I'll go out with God. You know, I still got time. No, you don't. You don't know what tomorrow holds. You have a limited amount of time, a window of opportunity to make an impact on this earth. I'm not talking about worldly stuff, music, movies, and everything. That stuff will fade away into existence. But telling people Jesus loves you and he has a plan and purpose for your life will change the life forever. Maybe not in that moment, but in the night hours, absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Um, so we count how um, we count how encountering Jesus changed your life. That's what I share with people. How Jesus changed my life. He came in my I came in my room, had an encounter with had an encounter with God. Told me not to do it. Told me to throw down the knife, and I'm just crying. Told me not to end my life. Can you imagine that? That's a beautiful thing right there, right? Explain why He is your source of peace and hope and confidence. Be genuine. And compassionate see people as treasured creations made in god's image hallelujah so follow god's command to share the hope of the gospel matthew 28 19 through 20. so therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and teaching them to obey everything i have commanded 
you, and surely I am, catch this, surely I am with you always to the very end of the age, to the very end of this earth. I'm with you always. That's what God does. He's with you always at the end. He's with you during the storms. He's with you during the good times. He's with you during the bad times. He is with you always until the end. That's a promise. That's a solemn promise that he will never leave you nor forsake you. That's an oath. He promised you he will never leave you nor forsake you. So those are my keys right there, ladies and gentlemen. How to help you about Jesus. Those are my three keys right there. And if you want to watch this again, please feel free. Because I think this is so important. Just have that courage and just walk up to that person and just be sweet. Just be loving. Just see just see people through God's eyes. That's what he's been teaching me. Just see people through my eyes, Isaiah. Just see people through God's eyes. And treat people how you want to be treated. Show love. Show compassion to people. Don't be rude. Don't be arrogant. Don't have an attitude. Just show love to people because they really need it. Because you don't know what life is like at their house. You don't know what their parents are like. You don't know how they treat them. You don't know how their siblings are. You do not know a person's story until maybe they'll tell you and you're shocked as, you'll be shocked as ever. You know what I'm saying? I'm always shocked when I hear somebody's story. I'm just like, wow, really? Oh my gosh. And I pray for them. So have that confidence, have the boldness just to tell people about Jesus. No matter what, just be strong. And God will lead you and guide you. Don't ever forget that he will lead you and guide you in the right direction, okay? So I want you to say this prayer after me. And mean it with all your heart. Say, dear Lord Jesus, come into my life. Give me my sin. Wash me. Cleanse me. Set me free. Jesus, thank you. They died for me. I believe that you are risen from the dead. And you're coming back in for me. Feel the Holy Spirit. Give me passion for the lost. And a hunger for the things of God. And a holy boldness. To preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am saved. I am born again. And I am forgiven. And I'm on my way to heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. Amen, amen, amen. And for every Father God, thank you. So it's not by your blood, by your spirit, Lord. That on that day, Lord, they stand before you. Not one missing, Father God. Ways and powerful impact generation. Break every demonic attack, Lord. Every assignment from the enemy is broken off their life in the name of Jesus. And I speak life. I speak life. I speak victory, Father. And give them courage, Father God. In the school, Father God, just tell people about Jesus. In the workplace, Father God, just to tell them there is hope. There is hope. There's a reason why you're here. Because you do matter. You do matter. And he hears the cry. The deepest cry of your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Like, share, comment, do whatever you gotta do to get the word out. And if you say that prayer, all heaven rejoices over one sinner, just one, that comes to repentance. So all heaven is rejoicing right now. Praise God. So, guys, I love you. God loves you. God bless you. And I will see you on Thursday or Friday for another video teaching. God bless you guys.